Alright, what is going on guys? It's Connors55 here, back in with another video today. Um, today pretty much I'm just going to be um, giving you another tips and tricks video for FIFA 17 and explaining all of them to you. Um, I know I've done this video before, like earlier on in the year, but I've uh, sort of came up with um, like this is sort of like the more updated video uh, version and um, there are some more tips you can use for FIFA 17 so I thought I'd tell them to you. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Um, I don't know if I've said this before, but what you can do is, as soon as FIFA 17 comes out, you want to, uh, or the web app, you want to get on there s as soon as possible to try and get the most money you can. Because if you get on there later, prices start dropping and start going down and everything, and you won't, you'll probably miss your time to make lots of profit on the web app. So, like, as soon as it comes out, you should be on there and start, and uh, try and start make, um, uh, profit. Um, the next thing is uh, go onto the mobile app every day and collect your daily free coins. This is really good because then you just get keep getting free money every day, which you can then invest in more players and trading and everything else, which will just help you boost your whole um, ultimate team for when actual FIFA 17 actually releases on your console or PC or whatever. Um, another good tip is to use um, position change cards to advantage on players such as say if you have Theo Walcott um, and he's or oh, I can't remember what position he is let's just say he's uh, right mid or something like that um, and he's selling for 20k uh, then you buy a position change card say for I don't know 500 coins something you change the Walcott from a right mid to a right wing or something like that with the position change card and then sell him for uh, a couple K more and you'll make more profit because um, people will buy him because they don't probably want to um, in their like own effort like get buy the card swap him around and everything so they just buy yours for a couple more K and then you can just keep, re um, keep repeating this and making loads of um, profit um, so yeah that's really good um, that's like helped me out a lot in the last FIFA um, I'm pretty sure it should um, work again in this FIFA hopefully because if it will then you can make loads of profit really easily um, the next tip is to invest in um, cards as, as if as in like contracts and um, chemistry stuff and all, all like um, the consumables uh, because no one really uses them when the web apps out and they sort of everyone sort of wants to like sell them quickly so that's when you come in and you invest in all of the cheap ones save your money or like or like put a put a fraction of your money to consumables and invest in all of them and then continue with your trading in other players um, and also another tip is obviously if you do this as soon as possible uh, the more money you make which then you can um, obviously do more trading because with more money you'll be able to buy more players and do a lot more trading and it will just keep adding up and up and up um, another thing is you should really take time to study the market and like see what sort of area you want to like go in because the um, the whole uh, the market is like very like wide so um, so you want to sort of concentrate on one area and find it and then um, just keep trading with that specific area because you don't want to keep switching everything if it doesn't work and then um, you're obviously losing time and you'll probably lose coins if you don't like specifically take time to research in your certain specific or um, area um, also yeah you want to buy like say if you want to buy consumables to make the most profit in investing in them and you want to buy them in like bulk so buy a load of them uh, the next one we got here is also uh, have your transfer list always full so optimize the space for your transfer list make sure it's always full so you're not missing out on um, any lost profit um, also another tip is do not ever put your cards longer than 60 minutes because if they go like that then uh, people won't see them as quick and you have less chance of selling them which is really bad so if you say you put them up for 12 hours I uh, think you can put them for a day or three days or something or like three hours or something do not do that always put them 60 minutes or an hour um, because uh, that's that's the way they will um, sell the quickest and um, they get the most exposure there uh, for people who like to see them um, another thing is if you've got useless cards in your ultimate team sell them straight away for the most uh, coins you can get um, to try and uh, get more coins towards your actual trading because obviously you don't need those cards and they could be going towards um, more coins 
start trading uh, with and like make more profit. Um, another good tip is to always like research what filters you want to have and um, like sort of stick with those filters and um, yeah make sure you have good filters otherwise you won't be able to uh, filter the right players and you probably uh, won't uh, get very good at trading so yeah. Um, also another thing you got to do is uh, the 59th minute method uh, which is quite good it's called like otherwise known as like sniping it's quite good because if if um, people on the web app uh, there's probably going to be some like newbie players on there which probably don't know how much cards sell for so they just sell they just say oh let's put that player up for 1k and say if he's like Theo Walcott let's say and he's worth 20k you'll be you can get in there and snipe him right off the market for a really cheap cheap price and sell them for much higher than that um, also, when FIFA 17 actually releases and um, the tournaments start dropping, see what players are required in the tournaments and invest in them like a week before or something. Or we'll try and get like tournament information earlier because that will really help you. Because once um, the new tournament comes and everyone starts buying those specific uh, requirements of players, that's when they will go up in price and you start making money and then you sell them when everyone's when they've gone up in price and you make. Um, very good profit. Also, um, invest in good, like all-round players uh, that you think people will like when the actual game comes out. Because obviously on the web app, no one's going to be using actual players because they can't actually play FIFA. So they will be selling cheap. Go for the well-rounded out players, which are sort of good in everything, which you think, uh, which are cheap at the start of FIFA, which you think people will start buying and everything. Invest in them, and then when actual FIFA 17 drops, it will. Um, You'll, you'll make tons of money on that and um yeah guys that has been pretty much a video uh it's pretty much just an update video from last time uh just some more tips and tricks for trading and everything um if you did enjoy make sure to hit that like button it really um means a lot and make sure to subscribe uh to my channel uh i post like uh daily gaming videos normally two a day um so yeah i will see you guys in the next episode all right bye